Over the past weekend, the Atlanta Faze hosted a Call of Duty League event where eight of the 12 teams competed head to head. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity to go and see if any of the professional class setups have changed, especially with the CDL playlist now available within Modern Warfare. And a quick run through for those of you that are unfamiliar with the Call of Duty League is pretty much 12 teams. There's five player rosters and there's usually one or two alternates per team so they could swap out if someone's underperforming just like you would have with a regular professional sports team. So all together, you're probably talking about less than 80 people that are considered professional Call of Duty players. And on top of that, they have a slightly different rule set to make the game just that much more competitive. And I'll touch on some of those different agreements or changed rules as we go through each of the individual class setup. If you do enjoy the video in any way, let me know by hitting that like button. A goal of 500 likes is always appreciated. And if for whatever reason you want to find your way back to the channel for more Call of Duty content, I'd highly recommend subscribing with notifications on so the first weapon we'll talk about is probably the most popular public match weapon by a huge margin but when it comes to competitive usually there's only one person using it on each team for a majority of the modes once you jump into search and destroy maybe you get two or three people using it and that weapon is the m4a1 assault rifle and pretty much if you watch the professional players play they almost all have the exact same class setup with one attachment different here and there and i'm going to go through all nine of those class setups pretty quickly kind of discuss my thoughts on why they use these individual attachments and how you could change them up to better fit your play style because they are restricted on a few different attachments. And the first setup I would consider the iron sight setup and most of the players will be using a compensator, the commando foregrip and stipple grip and that is the standard three attachments they use. And then depending on the player, they're either gonna go with the Corvus Custom or the stock M16 for the barrel. And then when it comes to the stock, they're either gonna go with the Singard Arms Invader or the no stock attachment. Then for the second set of class setups, they decide to drop out that compensator for an optic. They still keep the commando foregrip and the stipple grip tape, but as far as the barrel, they go with the either two options again, the stock M16 or the Corvus Custom. As far as the optics go, they either go with the GI Mini Reflex or the Cronin Mini Reflex and then the no stock attachment or the Singart Arms Invader again. One little side note when it comes to these individual class setups is earlier I said that they do have certain restrictions. One thing to keep in mind is that the professional players are not allowed to use suppressors or any lasers. So depending on your play style, that might be a little bit better of an attachment, but that'll really come down to your individual play style. One of the interesting things is prior to this weekend's event, there was a lot of buzz that the pro players were gonna probably start using the RAM and the growl that was recently added as part of that season two 1.14 update. Especially for how many people were hyping the growl as being the number one weapon, not a single pro player chose to use that over the M4. And that's gotta tell you something about how broken and overpowered the M4 is, even with the multiple nerfs since the release of Modern Warfare. So that takes care of one of the weapons, but when it comes to a regular respawn game mode, usually you're gonna have four people with SMGs and one player with a rifle. So we're pretty much only taking care of 20% of what the players are using within the pro league. When it comes to the other 80%, those players are going with the MP5 submachine gun. And as far as the attachments goes, it's way simpler than we saw with the M4 because pretty much like 95% of the players use the exact same class setup without any variation. And the class setup they like to run is the Merc 4 grip, those 10 millimeter rounds, the stipple grip tape, as well as sleight of hand and the FTAC collapsible stock. And I think this is overall one of the best weapons in the entire game. I would probably put it top two, top three in terms of being able to put out that damage, especially when you have those 10 millimeter rounds that can help a ton. Even after the recent nerf, pretty much all of them are using these rounds over the 45 round magazine just because they want to make sure that they're able to deal that extra damage because when you come to head to head with the best weapon in the game, you want to make sure that you're killing as fast as possible and a lot of their gunfights will end up in those ranges that are benefited from having those 10 millimeter rounds. So when it comes to the regular public matches, regardless if you're playing in 6v6, 10v10, or ground war, one of the things I would recommend switching up is having that monolithic integral suppressor instead of maybe sleight of hand. Then depending on your skill level, it might make a little bit more sense to run with the 45 round mags because public matches are way more forgiving than coming up against someone who is of the highest skill possible. So another little side note when it comes to the 
CDL rule set is that there is no headshot multiplier. They basically just take whatever the upper torso damage multiplier is and apply it towards the head. So in some scenarios where you would kill in one last bullet, it does not work that way within the CDL playlist. So that pretty much covers the respawn game modes. That's pretty much what they're gonna be using for domination as well as hardpoint. When they jump into search and destroy, they pretty much use those two same weapons. But in addition to that, they usually throw a sniper rifle in the mix as well as a pistol for their secondary. So I'm be including a class setup for the HDR, the AX50, as well as the Deagle. So for the AX50, it looks like they use the 32 inch factory barrel, the seven round mags, the stippled grip tape, focus for the perk and that Singard Arms Invader. For the HDR, it's a four attachment setup, the 26.9 inch HDR Pro barrel, the seven round mags, the focus for the perk and the FTAC Stalker Scout. For the Deagle, it's that Forge TAC Enforcer, the match grade trigger, the 10 round mag, stipple grip tape, and slide a hand for the perk. So one thing I will let you know right off the bat, these are not the best pub sniper rifles. If you're looking at quick scope or anything like that, these are not it. These are very slow, not very mobile sniper rifle setups because they are geared towards pre-aiming and hard scoping the bomb site or lines of sight where people should be crossing to try and get an easy pick or some kind of first blood that gives your team the advantage or allows you to make the match even again if you're down a player. And when it comes to the Deagle, there's not really a ton of options they have since they are limited on the suppressor, not able to put a laser sight. They're probably not going to put an optic because they don't want to slow it down depending on the optic they choose. So this is pretty much the class setup they're going to go with for the most part. It's kind of like the best class setup if you're limited on certain attachments. So that's really what it ends up being. And the funny part about the actual Modern Warfare meta is there's normally some kind of dynamic where there's two different assault rifles, maybe one or two SMGs, and then you usually have one sniper rifle, one pistol. This one's a little bit different, so it's kind of interesting to watch how there's really only one assault rifle, one SMG, and there's actually two sniper rifles, which is kind of odd, but it is what it is until they try to properly balance the M4 and the MP5, so there could be a little bit of variety within the meta. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video, it was pretty straightforward to the point, showed off the class setups. If you enjoyed the video in any way, let me know by hitting that like button again. 500 likes is the goal. And odds are, if you made it to this point in the video, you're probably already subscribed. But in case you're not, definitely make sure to double check that you are subscribed with notifications on if you're looking to find your way back for more Call of Duty content. Do appreciate all the support on the channel. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.